In this video, we will be laying out our toolbox cover on metal. You want to verify that you are beginning with a piece of metal that is 14 and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. I'm going to start by laying out my number one operational line, which is located a half inch away from the edge of my object. This will be a dashed line and will run almost the entire height of our object. It will be on both sides. My number three operational line will be a half inch down from the top. Taking a look at my number two operational line located furthest towards the bottom of my drawing. I'm going to identify that line, which is 2.125 inches from the bottom. My other number two operational line is 3.875 inches from the bottom. The lowest notch is 6.25 inches up from the bottom. Next we need to identify 3 sixteenths of an inch on either side of my number two operational lines. And then our last point of reference is one and one eighth inches from the top of our part. This is adding together a half an inch for our upper tab and 0.625 inches as our reference measurement. Next we need to locate our handle mount holes. To do that I am going to create a center reference line. And base my measurement off of that center reference line. It will be 2.875 inches on either side. I 
I then need to create a horizontal center reference line. And from here I can go a half inch on either side of that center reference line. After that we have our latch holes. So I'm going to extend that center reference line up and base my 0.625 measurement off of that center reference line. And then using a transparency, double check to make sure that every line is lined up perfectly. This one looks very good. And lastly, if everything looks good, I'm going to identify all of my operational procedures.